This video is going to be a quick flashlight review of a kind of a new player in the market from folks at Noctic, and that's the Noctic Focus flashlight. And stay tuned to the end, we're going to tell you how you can have a chance to win one of these for yourself. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at Noctic contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at one of their new flashlights. It is the Focus flashlight. And basically they call it the Focus because it has the ability to focus the beam from a wide beam to a narrow beam. And to sweeten the deal, they also offered to have a giveaway. So again, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can have a chance to win one of these. But before we do that, let's take it down on the old stump top. We'll talk about the specs of this thing and we'll get to doing some of that flashlight stuff. Okay, so here is the uh, Noctic Focus. If you, this is the package that comes in. You see it says it's designed in Belgium. So open this up. It's got nice little instructions here to kind of tell you all about it. But one thing I think is really cool, we'll just set that out of the way. Because I'm going to get this out of the way in a minute because I know it's messing up the uh, white balance on the camera. But there's, it comes with a flashlight. It comes with a little uh, nylon holster with an extra battery holder. And then it, this thing actually comes with a... Um, an 18650 battery and then it's got a sleeve on it to, to take up some extra space and it also comes with an 18650 battery charger with an international like adapter here but what I think is really cool is it also comes with a, a little adapter here that you can put three AAA batteries in it so you just take your 18650 with the sleeve out you put your batteries in you put that in and you're good to go so I like the versatility of not having to be to be stuck using an 18650 but if, if this one happens to go dead on you and you can always have a backup of AAA so that I think is a really good feature. Now we'll put this out of the way. This light has a maximum brightness of 500 lumens. Features an XM-L2 T6 LED. And it's got a, a uh, convex lens here. So that's, that's for the focusing. It actually is it's almost like a magnifying glass. And actually it comes off like so. And I tried to use it as a to start a fire, and it just didn't quite, quite get it. And I was in some really hot sun, too, so it just wasn't quite there. But you know me. I had to try, right? So I just wanted, wanted to point that out. But it features copper connections, high-quality circuitry, and this um, it's a mineral glass lens, by the way. It's T6061 aluminum, and it's a really solid little flashlight. And then it's got the focusing. The focusing feature is where you pull it out. As you pull it out, it focuses to a really tight beam. As you pull it back in, it spreads out to a broad beam. And that's the kind of kind of the draw or the, the, the main feature of this light. So let's talk about the, the uh, beams on it. It has a tail switch on it, first of all, to turn it on. Click the tail switch and turn it on. And it's got different modes. So we'll start it back here. So we'll turn it back on. And it starts on the, uh, it comes on on what they call the strong beam, which is 500 lumens. It's good for three hours. If you half click it, basically half click the thing one time, it goes down to the medium beam, which is 250 lumens, good for eight hours, or 100 meter throw. One more time goes to the low beam, which is 125 lumens, good for 20 hours, or 50 meters throw. And then something I think is really cool, you can half click it one more time, it's going to go just to a straight flashing, kind of like a strobe, so this is a little strobe alert for you if, you're, if that bothers you. Okay, and then half click it one more time, and this is what I think is cool, it goes to an SOS. I really think the SOS is just great. And that's good for six hours. It's 500 lumens, good for six hours. So basically, if you're in a survival type situation, you put this thing on SOS, aim it at, at the, the, the most um, you know, likely point of rescue, and take a nap, go to sleep, or do whatever you got to do. And this thing is still out there signaling for you, which I think is just a very, very good feature. The six hours on SA, SOS is great. Okay, so now as far as the... Um, toughness of this light it is IPX5 water resistant and what that means is that water projected by a nozzle against an enclosure from any direction shall have no harmful effect so basically it's not submersible as so to speak but if you're in the rain or you're getting it wet or whatever it's going to be fine for you uh, and then it's one meter shock proof now the dimensions on this light are 5.31 inches by 1.38 inches in diameter if you're for some reason still stuck in the in the archaic metric system that's 135 millimeters by 35 millimeters and it weighs 5.26 ounces or 149 grams so since it's not submersible we're not going to test that but it is one meter shock proof and so we're going to check that out and as you can see by the way this thing has already been checked out one time it's been beat up you can see it's kind of beat up a little bit and i had some some technical difficulties with the uh, old video <laughs> clips there so 
I'm having to redo this part of the video, so let's do that right now. Okay, so here we are at the impact evaluation assembly at the Survival on Purpose testing facility. We're going to go ahead and turn it on, and let's get to dropping it. This is about one meter. We'll try from there. Oh, that was solid, but it's still working. Let's drop it on the uh, tail. Still working. How about nose down? Ooh, that was solid. Still working. How about this old flipper? Still working. One more time. Oh, that wasn't a good hit. One more time. And it's still working. Okay, as you can see, it's got some, got some bruises on it now, but it passed the drop test of flying color. So through the magic of video technology, we're going to go now to the nighttime shots. I did the other day on the first take of this video, and then we'll come back and wrap this thing up. Okay, so here it is, obviously dark with a Noctic Focus flashlight. You click the tail switch to turn it on, and it comes on to the what they're calling the strong beam at 500 lumens. If you half press it, it goes down to the next level, which is the medium beam at 250 lumens. Half press it again, it goes down to the low, or soft beam is what they call it, with 125 lumens. And again, we're looking at the uh, siding here at about 10 feet, 8 to 10 feet. If you here comes a strobe alert, sort of. You half press it again, it goes to flashing, and then you half press it again, and it goes to the SOS mode. Uh, and then you half press it again, it goes back to the high, and you can click and turn it off. Let's take a look at the distance shots, and I'll show you how well this thing focuses, and then we'll um, wrap this thing up. Okay, so here's 500 lumens. It doesn't really reach out very far when it's on the maximum spread. But as you focus it out, if you pull the, uh, the lens cap out, it actually focuses down more and more, and you can see it starts reaching out. It really creates a lot more throw. But what it also does, you can see as we go all the way out, you can see this, the, uh, you actually get the square effect from the actual LED. It's a square emitter, so you can really focus it down to a really tight beam. You can, even though normally um, I tell you that I can see more with my naked eye than I can on the camera, in this case, really not. It is really focused super tight down to that square. There's sort of a ghost ring around it, you know, out away from the square that's not showing up on the camera, but it's not really much there, and it's really almost a defined a defined circle with dark between the square and the circle if that makes sense and then as you pull it back in you can see it spreads out and it increases the uh, light pattern but it also decreases the amount of throw so just to show you what the differences are if we if we focus it all the way in it and half click it takes it down to the medium it still reaches out pretty well go down to the soft it even reaches out with the soft which is not too shabby okay and real quick I want to show you um you can really see on the wall a little better what I was talking about with that ghost ring effect it's really uh it really does have the uh kind of a ring around the outside of it wow a lot brighter now huh okay so that was some of the nighttime shots of the uh Noctic Focus uh and again the folks at Noctic were kind enough to send me this so Chuck Norris doesn't sleep he waits let's cut to the chase and, I, and I'll give you the pros and cons in my opinion um, and I don't know if it's a pro or a con, but the, the square light pattern, when, when you, especially when you focus it in, was a little different to me. I don't know if it's good or bad, but it was definitely different. Um, in my opinion, one of the cons would be maybe that the, uh, for 50 bucks, you can get a lot more brightness than 500 lumens nowadays. 500 lumens is kind of like a medium, um, but it's still stinking bright, okay? Um, and if you need the ability to focus down, then I think that's a, that's a, that's a pro. Uh, another pro, in my opinion, is the fact that you can use either an 18650 battery or a AAA battery with the adapters in there. So, so I think that's really cool, too. That gives you a lot of versatility, which is not something I see from a lot of flashlights. Um, the fact that they provide you with an 18650 battery and a charger and the adapter for the AAA batteries and a holster um, in the kit, that's another, that's another pro because that's a pretty good, that, that ups the value of the kit. Because there's a lot of flashlights for 50 bucks that that are brighter than this and, and maybe you have um you know or ipx8 waterproof and different things that might have some other features that this don't have but typically then you're going to have to buy at least an, an 18650 battery you're going to have to have a charger so you're at another 20 30 bucks right there probably for the battery and the charger um so that ups the value of this in my opinion so you know it's, it's going to be up to you it's a good flashlight there are certainly brighter flashlights for 50 bucks if you like the focusing beam function of it and that's something that's important to you and 
or if you, if you don't have an 18650 and you don't have a charger, then maybe that's a good deal too because you can use this battery in a lot of different things. But altogether, it's a very well-made flashlight. I can't knock that. Really, the only again, the only negative would be the fact that for, for 50 bucks, you can get a lot brighter flashlight. But, you know, lumens aren't everything. So um, what I try to do in these reviews is just do a good job of demonstrating the product and let you make your own decision. And I'll let you make your own on this one. It's um, definitely it's a pretty cool flashlight. So, But something that's definitely a pro about this light is you can have a chance to win one of these. So this giveaway is going to be open to anyone who lives anywhere that Noctic can ship to, which is basically any EU country or the US or Canada. And here's how you enter. First of all, you need to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it's really easy, really easy. You just click the little link right here. No big deal. No, it takes th three seconds. Then click the link up here. If it's not here, check in the description. That'll take you to a page on my website where you can enter your name, your email address, and your YouTube username. And then I will draw the winner for this in about a week from today. Um, I'll notify you by email, so make sure you put a good email address. But just follow the instructions on there. It's, gonna, it's, it's all spelled out for you on the website. And you can have the opportunity to win one of these really cool flashlights. And once again, thanks to the folks at Noctic for sending me this so I can show it to you and for providing one for a giveaway. That's really cool of them. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up and for sharing this video with all your friends. And thank you so much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time. Before, before, yeah, before, yeah, yeah. I got it upside down. <laughs>